Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing how to use homeopathic remedies on ailments, continuing with kidney and bladder ailments, starting with the letter P and R. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Please refer to my How to Use Homeopathic Remedies video before using the material in this video. I'll be discussing how to use homeopathic remedies on specific ailments, but I've broken these ailments into categories for easier reference. I'll begin with ailments of the mind emotions, then I'll move on to ailments of the brain and nervous system. Then I'll address issues with your skin, nails, hair, eyes, ears, nose, teeth, gums, lungs, respiration, heart, blood, circulation, muscles, bones, joints, esophagus, stomach, duodenum, small and large intestine, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, kidney, and bladder, then ailments specific to women and then specific to men, then issues of the hormones and the metabolism. After that, I'll address the issues of homeopathic remedies on infections, infestations, and the immune system, then issues surrounding fertility, pregnancy, childbirth, and postnatal problems then homeopathic remedies that address special problems in infants, ailments and diseases in childhood, and special issues of adolescence, and finally, special issues of the elderly. Constitutional treatment involves treating the totality of the individual person. Everyone is a unique individual with a unique physiology that responds to substances differently. In homeopathy, it's recognized that people will react strongly to certain remedies, and as a result of this, they can be loosely placed into different categories called constitutional types. Homeopaths talk of, for example, phosphoric types. These are people who react strongly to phosphorus, or arsenicum album types, those who react strongly to arsenicum album. The belief is that people of one type share similarities in terms of body shape, character, and personality, and the sorts of diseases from which they suffer. As an example, nature mere people tend to be pear-shaped, have a dark complexion, be fastidious and rigid in personality, and keep themselves to themselves. They also crave salt and suffer from constipation. As another example, lycopodium types tend to be tall, gangly, and of a stooped appearance, with an anxious expression and a craving for sweets, and a propensity to produce intestinal gas. Now, of course, constitutional types have their limitations. In reality, each person is an individual, and so there are as many constitutional types as there are human beings. An account must be taken of the sum total of the person's inherent predispositions, past illnesses, diet general reactions to the environment, intellectual and emotional features, and general attitude towards life. This is what is meant by constitutional treatment. I'll be making detailed videos of the various constitutional types after I've completed the use of homeopathic remedies on ailments. The ideas, procedures, and suggestions in this video and all my homeopathic videos are not intended as a substitute for the medical advice of a trained health professional. Consult your physician before adopting the suggestions in this video. If you're pregnant, do not attempt these techniques without the approval of your physician. So, let us continue with learning how homeopathic treatments can help with kidney and bladder ailments. Today, we will continue with kidney and bladder ailments that begin with the letter P and R. In the average adult, the kidneys filter the total volume of the blood nearly 300 times a day, producing about one liter or two pints of urine, passed on four to six occasions. As urine is produced, it filters into collecting ducts in the, in the neck of the kidneys and trickles down the uters into the bladder. As soon as the bladder is half full, its total capacity is about one pint, stretch receptors in its walls signal the urge to urinate. After the age of about four, the sphincter between the bladder and the urethra is under voluntary control. The male urethra, which acts as a passageway for semen as well as urine, is nearly four times as long as the female. This and the fact that its opening at the tip of the penis is well removed from the anus explains why men are less susceptible to urinary infections than women. Unfortunately, the short female urethra provides bacteria 
with a relatively swift invasive route to the bladder. Urine, the sterile product of the non-stop non filtering activities of the kidneys, is 96% water and 4% organic and inorganic solids, and its color can be a valuable guide not only to the function of the kidneys, but also to the state of the liver and the gallbladder. The kidneys regulate the amount of water and also the balance of acid and alkaline constituents in the blood, and on those two things all the chemical functions of the body intimately depend. Inside each kidney, the branches of the renal arteries subdivide into a million or so tiny tufts of blood vessels called glomeruli, small molecules like water, salt, various minerals, glucose, and wastes such as urea, which is a byproduct protein breakdown, squeeze through the wa these walls under pressure and enter a million adjacent tubiles called nephrons, which selectively reabsorb them in a healthy kidney. 99% of the water and all the glucose are reabsorbed. This reabsorption process is controlled by hormones made in the pituitary gland at the base of the brain and in the adrenal glands that sit on top of the kidneys. The kidneys themselves produce a number of hormones that help to control blood pressure, stimulate production of red blood cells in the bone marrow, and activate vitamin D. Painful urination. In men, painful urination accompanied by a dull ache in the groin and sometimes fever may be due to prostate, prostatitis. Other conditions causing painful urination include urethritis, sexually transmitted diseases such as nonspecific urethritis, discharges from the urethral opening, and gonorrhea, discharges from the penis or vagina. Anal infection causing discharge and irritation, and in women, fever, chill, chills, and pains in the abdomen and joints. Genital infections such as thrush, trichono, trichomoniasis, and pruritus vulvae, cystitis, which is a frequent urge to urinate, stinging or burning sensation when the urine is passed, and acute pyelonephritis which is high fever, intense pain in the kidneys are extended down to the groin, nausea and vomiting, shivering, pink or cloudy urine. If py pyelonephritis is suspected, see a doctor within 12 hours. Pyle pyelonephritis is an acute or chronic infection of the kidneys, usually following bacterial infection of the, the urethra or bladder especially in women. In acute pyelonephritis, inflammation results in sudden intense pain in the back, just above the waist, usually worse on one side. Pain then extends down to the groin, accompanied by high fever, nausea, and vomiting. Rigorous, intensive shivering, uh, shivering painful urination, and frequent urge to pass urine. Urine also turns pink or cloudy, and the person feels generally cold and shivery. Kidney stones, bladder tumors, and enlarged prostate or blockage of the uterus during pregnancy, all of which make transit of urine through the urinary system slower, tend to increase the risk of acute infection. If the above symptoms are present, see a doctor within 12 hours. Antibiotics and bed rest will probably be prescribed and x-ray investigation of the kidneys once the attack has subsided. Specific remedies to be taken every hour for up to 10 doses while waiting to see the doctor. Scanty urine, burning sensation as urine is passed, person exhausted and restless. Use arsenicum 6C. Sudden onset, person fearful, fear feverish and thirsty, painful urination and anxiety at the start of urination. Urine hot, red, and scanty. Kidney area tender. Symptoms come on after exposure to cold, dry air. Use aconite 30C. Frequent urge to pass urine. Burning or tearing pains in the kidney area. Blood and mucus in the urine. Vomiting. Use uva ursi 6C. Constant desire to pass urine. Cutting, burning pains in the kidney area. Use Cantharis 
30C. In chronic pyelonephritis, there are repeated infections, sometimes from childhood onward, but in, in full clear, sim, clear symptoms until kidney function is considerably impaired, then early signs of kidney failure, tiredness, increased urination, itchy skin, nausea set in. In most cases, the condition is detected as the result of tests for other ailments. Repeated infection is often due to weakness of the valves between the uterus and the bladder, allowing urine, urine and any bacteria present in the bladder to spurt back into the uterus as the bladder is emptied. Surgical repair of valves may be possible in children, but in adults, the usual treatment is to give low-dose antibiotics for long periods. Homeopathic treatment is constitutional, however. While treatment is being sought, one of the remedies given for chronic kidney failure may be suitable. Self-help. Increase fluid intake to at least five pints per day and cut down protein and salt in the diet. In acute attacks, eat only light, bland foods until the infection abates. Retention of urine. Acute failure to pass urine causes great pain as the bladder is stretched by accumulating urine, not unusual after abdominal surgery and cather catheterization, or after injury to bladder or urethra. More commonly, it may be due to enlargement of the prostate gland, prostate and prostitis. Prompt action is necessary, so see a doctor within two hours. A catheter will have to be inserted into the bladder to drain it. Increasing difficulty to pass urine, less and less urine passed over a period of months or years, results in gradual expansion of the bladder. In severe cases, the bladder pushes up to just below the navel. Sneezing, coughing, laughing, straining, and things of this nature cause leakage of urine, and there is great vulnerability to infections such as pyelonephritis and cystitis. Sooner or later, retention becomes acute. Specific remedies to be given every half hour for up to 10 do doses where retention is acute. Problem follows injury to the groin or lower abdom abdomen. Use Arnica 30C. Problem brought on by surgery. Use Causticum 6C. Inability to pass urine in presence of others. Use Natrimur 6C. Pain but no urge to urinate. Use Opium 6C. Person too hyped up and relaxed, restless to relax urethra muscles and let the urine out. Use Tarantella 6C. If retention is a hysterical reaction to grief, use Ignatia 6C. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.